Hi, my name's Craig Taylor and as always a huge thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel The Bushcraft Padawan. Regular viewers and subscribers will know that I'm undertaking a year-long tree and plant identification masterclass run by Paul Kirtley from Frontier Bushcraft and the reason that I'm doing that is because my tree and plant identification is poor and as a result I'm not making the best decisions around material selection when I'm out camping and when I'm out bushcrafting. So add those two together, that's why I'm doing the tree and plant ID Masterclass. Uh, I'll link to a playlist up here that shows you all the other videos that I've recorded in this, this Masterclass as I go along and true to form, once I've finished the module I like to record a short reflective video and that's exactly what this is about. So today is the, let's have a look, what's the day today? It's the 21st of May 2017 and I have just finished module four which was released around about the middle of April, so about a month or so ago. Um, what about module four then? Well, I started off a little bit panicked if I'm perfectly honest because this module was released just before, a day or two I think before I went away for a week in the woods actually doing a bushcraft course. In other words, no internet connection, no real device to be able to do it on, no Wi-Fi, anything like that. So I felt a little bit under pressure to catch up when I got back. As it was, taking that week out and, and doing the bushcraft course was, was just as valuable as being online because of course, I was on a bushcraft course with Paul Kirtley. We were doing tree and plant identification as the course progressed, we were, we were doing it for real, we were touching and feeling and looking at the real plants and the real trees rather than looking at pictures of them online. So um, probably didn't need to start off as panicked as I, as I did, but I did feel a little bit under pressure to catch up with this missing week. One of the things that Paul talked about in this module was, was I'm, I'm referring to what he wrote here, was that you know more than you realise, start with what you know. And, you know, we, we all recognise things like dandelions and nettles and fir cones and conkers and things like that. So he was sort of saying that when we go into this module, you know, realise that you know more than you think you know. Even if you can't put it into a species, even if you can't say what it is, even if you don't know what genus or family it belongs to, you can recognise certain plants. You, you just, you know, you see them around you. They may become everyday um, sight. So, so not, not to lose sight of the fact that you're aware of more than you probably realise that you're aware of. And I'm glad that he said this because the vast majority of this module has left my head spinning, if I'm really honest. What we've done in this module is, uh, it, these are my words and this is my interpretation of it. We've gone from being quite, focused on looking at particular species and particular trees and a particular bud and a particular piece of bark to very 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 high level holistic views and putting them um, into into families or, or genus and I, and I may be mistaken with the terminology there but being very very high level in our view looking at families of trees or shrubs that have hundreds if not thousands of species within them and that's been quite useful from some perspective because you know if you can recognize a certain trait or characteristic of a certain family of trees or plants then when you spot something new if those traits and those familiarities are there you can potentially say okay I don't know what this is but I know it belongs to this family or this family and this family is particularly good for for fire lighting and this family is particularly good for for, for carbohydrates so that's we were going to a very very high level and if I'm honest I struggled with that I, I would have thought that being quite high level taking a high level approach to something I thought I would have found it easier than being laser focused on a particular species but that hasn't been the case it, it, it kind of it unsettled me a little bit and um, it it's um, had my head frazzled several times. Having said that, there were one or two occasions during it where the words that Paul said about you realise more than you think you know, you recognise more than you think you recognise. He started talking about uh, the family that has beans and peas within it and he mentioned that beans and peas, peas tend to have tendrils that want to hook around things to allow them to grow. And I grow sweet peas in my garden so I was able to recognise that. So 
it, it was interesting to for, for the words that he said at the beginning of the module to come back to me as the module unfolded and made me realize that you know I perhaps did know and that you perhaps know more than you think you do. We finished off the module with looking at the leaves of some of the more popular and useful um, deciduous trees. Now earlier on in the year we looked at deciduous trees but of course earlier on in the year they don't have leaves they have bark they have twigs they have buds they have some general characteristics so what i found incredibly useful this module and it, it was probably the most useful part of, of the module for me at the moment was going back to look at some of those trees that we looked at earlier on in the year but now that the leaves are out and you can see you know, around me and in the background it's far leafier than some of my earlier videos far greener being able to say we looked at older in January February you know what the bud looks like you know its general characteristics you know what the bark looks like and now this is what the leaves look like so for me that was a huge confidence booster in the program I'm actually out today in some woodland there quite close to me and it's part of a community woodland project and they have these family work days that I, I try and get along to whenever I can and that's where I am today and it's the first time that I've been for about two months and it's much greener and it was amazing to get out of my car and literally be hit in the face by a silver birch leaf and literally see over there hornbeam and it, it was amazing to think that only a few days ago I was looking at, at these online with Paul talking us through them I was aware of the of the winter characteristics of these but then bang there they are in my face in the summer so um, a real a, a real roller coaster of emotions in this module I guess from being quite confused and, and a little bit head frazzled knowing knowing at the back of my mind that there's a reason that we're doing this and that it will become apparent and that it will be useful to me in the future I get that I'm not doubting that it's just that at the moment I'm not seeing the immediate return of it but I know I will what I did see the immediate return of was to be able to look at, at these at these um, more common and useful deciduous tree species watch them unfold as the year progresses and that's been incredibly useful so that was module four done and dusted moving on now to module five if you enjoyed watching this video if you got something out of it as always please do give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate that if you've got any questions about it if you want to ask about this this master class that i'm doing then feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below i'll also put a link to the master class in the description box below this for you to go and have a look off your own steam but if you want to ask me any questions about it um i'm definitely no expert but if you want to ask me about my experience on it i'm really happy to answer those questions and if you want to keep tabs with any future videos that i'm releasing about this tree and plant id masterclass or about my wanderings in the woods generally do feel free to click that subscribe button it should just be in this bottom of the screen somewhere and you'll subscribe and you'll be able to keep up to date on any future videos a big thank you for watching cheers <laughs>